let's look at the outline of the course just for the moment. I want you to note that uh, we teach in, in six sessions in this course, uh, but the course is pretty clearly divided into two different halves. In the first half of the course, we will, of course, just talk about radar in this introduction, uh, and, um, and we'll deal with uh, things that, that deal with radar as a whole. How do I describe radar performance, where radar is just a thing? What are these electromagnetic waves? That, how do I represent them? Because, of course, they are very, in physics, they're very complicated things to describe. But we trust, we trust to Maxwell in that, and we learn how we're going to represent electromagnetic waves conveniently, because we must have some tools that are developed up in here. We must have some tools that are developed developed in the introductory session in order to carry on about how is it that antennas form patterns? How is it that Doppler signal processing is done? Uh, we need to represent our signal in ways that we'll establish in the introductory session. Again, dealing with radar as a whole. Um, this afternoon, we'll be into the natural phenomena that attend radar and the two dominant natural phenomena deal with scattering. How is it that things scatter a radio signal when it's incident to them? And how, how do those radio signals, those electromagnetic waves, how do they propagate in the presence of the Earth? And we've, we're not in free space. We'll be doing some things up here in free space. <laughs> uh, but of course, we recognize that we generally are operating our radars in the presence of the Earth. So these are things that attend radar as a whole, the usual block diagram examination of the constituency of radar, of course, but we're dealing with radar as a whole. Um, and then uh, in the second half, let me go to the next page here, in the second half, we go into the subsystems. So that's the two halves. We treat radar as a whole and even bring that to a going back now, to a culmination in the workshop tomorrow morning where we have a little uh, example radar, and we do calculations of its performance uh, in the sense that we developed in the introductory session. Uh, we do calculations of its performance. They are just algebra. It's not intimidating, but I do ask you when you come to the workshop, follow along. I'll be working on this undersized uh, whiteboard over here, <laughs> but uh, I'm asking you, you know, there'll be some paper for you, and, and follow along. Do the things that I do in those calculations. It sure helps the learning process to write things down. How many in school have that phenomenon? You know, I take notes in chemistry class or something, or in some other class, maybe you know, so much. I take notes in some class, uh, solid lecture notes, uh, and of course you realize later the value of the notes lies often in their taking not in their subsequent reading over. It's in the act of taking those notes that you uh, uh, did very well for yourself. And uh, lesser value is ever referring to them again. <laughs> that I might ever refer to them again. All right, so again, the second half then, starting tomorrow noon, roughly speaking, uh, will be uh, our walk through the four subsystems of radar. How do transmitters create a signal? Uh, how does the antenna radiate it into space and listen for echoes? How is it that the receiver processes those echoes? And how is it that I draw conclusions from that in order to make a report to a user? So that's the uh, strategy of the course. So thanks for that uh, review. And so let's uh, proceed this way. Here is uh, simply a, a, a background sheet on myself, if you have interest that way. I too was a, was a or I was a uh, 3041. Does the do we still have AFSCs? Uh, and 3041 still means something. Uh, I was a ground electronics officer in the, the late 1950s. I'm saying this because we have a, a, a electronics officer with us, uh, a second lieutenant here. So um, uh, we simply have differed in our commissioning dates by what. Uh, <laughs> Nearly wow. 60 years or something, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> All right, it's nice to have you here. But you're, you're a, I, I was with AC and W squadrons uh, in uh, Texas and in Spain uh, in the days of Franco in Spain. So that dates uh, the situation, doesn't it? 
All right, so there's a little uh, something about me. My background was basically in uh, surface-based radar for our Navy Department. My civilian career was in surface-based radar, uh, ship shipboard radar development, and uh, I was quite instrumental in the development of the Aegis uh, combat system in the Navy, in today's Navy, and its, uh, its conceptions. Uh, so a lot of the context instinctively here will be surface-based radar, but we make deliberate effort to say what's different then about airborne radar, for instance. What are the challenges of spaceborne radar? So we'll make remarks of these, but let's face it, instinctively, my own, own living was made in surface-based radar. So there we are. All right, so I leave it at that, and uh, let's go ahead with uh, this introductory session. And uh, I invite you then to, yes, to follow along in the notebook. That is the only um, uh, mechanism you have to uh, make notes right now and so on. You've got no paper yourselves, perhaps. Uh, there, my, my point is there is no textbook, you know, given with this course. Uh, I bring several books, as you can see over here. And in the course of our uh, discussions, we will turn to some of them. Uh, uh, as, as just show and tell. I mean, I'll just be holding them up, you know, as books I use. And, and uh, in an out, in a um, bit of a handout I have for you, a few supplemental pages, in a bit of a handout I have for you between now and the, and the conclusion of the course, uh, a, a, a 10 or 11 page handout, I, I put in there a uh, two page uh, annotated bibliography, books I like and books I don't like and or why and so on. So there's a bit of a bibliography coming in a handout to you before we are, before we're through. All right, so here's what we're going to do in this introductory session. We just will talk about radar for a while and how it's used. And then we'll have a little, uh, immediately, a little exercise in what I call radiative physics. And again, this is quantitative. Uh, this is taught as an engineering course. We are engineers. We deal with typical quanta, uh, and we are, don't remain merely qualitative throughout this course. So I, again, invite you to do the algebra when it comes to this, or the numerics, as best you can or as much as you want to, but I invite you to follow along this kind of an exercise. So we have a little uh, brief exercise this morning, but it leads us to the idea of quantifying radar performance, the radar range equation, and we must put behind us the uh, statistical nature of detection. Why is it that we speak about um, uh, false alarm and, and uh, uh, probabilities of detection? So, so we get the statistical nature of detection under our belts. Then we'll get this business of electromagnetic waves, how we're going to represent them how we're going to represent them, get that tool behind us. Uh, then we'll look at uh, a timing diagram, the nature of waveforms to give us uh, typical values of pulse widths and pulse repetition frequencies and why and so on as we look at typical timing of one's radar waveforms. And of course, this introductory session would contain block diagrams of radar and we'll do that. So let's get started with the first idea here, just the nature of radar and its applications. And of course, you know, uh, today with printing as it is, uh, computer-aided publishing of books, uh, of course radar books today have many photos of radars because they're so easy to, to uh, transcribe into a published book. But when I was learning radar, it's amazing how many, ra how many radar books there were and you could hardly find a photo of a radar in there. So we're going to we're going to show some photos after some remarks as well. And uh, some of the things we look at uh, help us understand uh, what a radar is doing, or, uh, help us understand more about a radar. So let's do this. First of all, I remind you, radar is a sensor. Uh, radar is a sensor. That's all it is. It obviously serves a user. Any sensor in human experience, a sensor doesn't exist but what it serves some user system. Some decision is going to be made on the output of the sensor's estimate of the state of nature. And so it is with radar. And uh, more and more that uh, bears on its design. We, we really have taken radar of the context we're going to be talking about. We've taken radar into the system and uh, into the whole system that it serves and it becomes a part of system engineering. Uh, and that that compatibility between one's sensor